What's poppin' YouTube? JD here, back with yet another video for you guys. As you guys can probably already tell, we are not in our usual setting. In fact, we're not even in the same country. I am currently in the south of Spain. I'm on holiday. We are right now at the Airbnb chilling. I like the Spanish artwork at the back. I thought this would be a good spot to film. And just because I'm on holiday, y'all didn't think I forgot about you guys, right? Of course not, because we are about to head into a brand new month. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the hottest sneakers coming out in the month of August. And for you resellers out there, we'll also be talking about which ones are the best for resell. And not going to lie, man, summer is ending with a bang. There's a lot of really dope sneakers coming out in August. Unfortunately, the month of July didn't go as planned for me. Let me know in the bottom how was your month of July. Of course, I had my eyes set on one pair of sneakers and that was the Jordan 4 Off-White Sale. I took an L on that and currently my size happens to be the most expensive size on StockX. So it looks like this one is going to be a L for me. But I'm not too worried though. There's a couple of sneakers dropping in the month of August that if I'm able to cop those, I'm not going to feel too bad about missing out on these off-white Jordan 4s. So let's get into August sneakers starting off with August the 1st. Now I know this is just the first sneaker I'm talking about in this video, but this might just be my cop of the month. We are talking about the Nike Dunk Low Shashiko. No guys, not Shashimi. We're talking about Shashiko. So Shashiko is a type of Japanese decorative stitching art form. And as you can see on this absolutely beautiful pair of sneakers, it has this denim material and the swoosh is stitched on with this white stitching. And I just think like this is not even a sneaker to me. This is art, man. This is such a beautiful pair of shoes match it with the gum bottom the white midsole i love this colorway and apparently this is only releasing in europe as well as asia at least for now we don't have any news about a us release and it's not releasing at too many retailers from what i've seen so far pretty much just sneakers and stuff and size maybe there will be a wider release in the future but right now we're looking at just europe and japan i absolutely love this colorway and i'm really hoping i'm able to cop it for retail and i might even consider paying resale for this because just look at these shoes man they're just beautiful Goes without saying, considering how limited this sneaker appears to be, resale is going to be very, very, very nice on this. Hard to say exactly, but off the top of my head, I'm going to be guessing at least $300 for any of the sizes. If you find out anything about a US release, I will leave that info down in the description. But for right now, August the 1st, the Nike Dunk Low Shashiko. Moving on to August the 6th, we have a pair of Jordan 1s dropping. This is the Satin Red. So this turns out to be a woman's release. As you can see, it's kind of similar to the Chicago colorway. The back of the shoe features this black snakeskin material, which personally I'm really not a fan of. I don't like snakeskin on shoes. I don't like snakeskin anything. The sneaker is looking like it's gonna be releasing in full family sizing as well. And because of how similar this pair looks to the Chicago colorway, expect resale to be pretty good, especially if we're talking about the bigger sizes. Since this is a woman's only release, expect the bigger sizes to have much better resale than the lady sizes. I'm going to expect resale in the bigger sizes to be around the 300 to 350 range, at least in those first couple of weeks. Personal opinion, not a fan of the shoes. Like I said, not a fan of this snakeskin. The very next day, August the 7th, we have another pair of Jordan 1s dropping. This is the Jordan 1 Co. Japan. And I don't know about you guys, man, but this colorway, just not for me. You can see it's this metallic, all over metallic silver colorway. In some places in Europe, uh, especially if you go sightseeing, you might see these people who kind of look like statues shoes but they're actually real people they're just kind of all dressed in like metallic silver this is like the perfect sneaker for those people however resale is looking like it's gonna be pretty good in all sizes however I will say the resale in the smaller sizes so seven to nine are gonna be much higher than the bigger sizes here in Japan this sneaker will also be releasing with this uh, suitcase as well there's gonna be 2020 pairs releasing with the suitcase and of course the resale on those will be much much higher this is an easy pass for me for personal but yeah definitely great to cop for resale once again in those smaller sizes especially on August the 8th now there's no official sneakers dropping this day but for all my EU fam on August the 8th is going to be the Nike sneakers app third anniversary and I don't know if you guys remember last year so last year was the second anniversary of the sneakers app and they had an official sneakers day and it looks like we're going to get another sneakers day this year on August the 8th so what that means is in the bigger cities like Berlin, London, also Paris, you're probably going to be getting random drops all over the city. Last year, there was some insane releases on this day. Pretty much all the Sakai colorways re-released. We also had some off-white 
cards dropping. Also the Travis Scott Jordan 4s I believe dropped. I was unfortunately on a holiday at that time so I completely missed that. However, some of my friends in Berlin were able to cop tons of pairs of Sakai's. And this year, I mean, who knows exactly what pairs are gonna release on this day. Probably we might get the Sakai nylons, maybe even the off-white Jordan 4s. Hopefully that will be my last attempt at getting that shoe for retail. So just keep your eye out for that, especially all of you guys who live in the bigger European cities like Paris, London, and Berlin. On August the 12th, another Jordan 1 dropping, this time the Space Hippie Jordan 1s. I've said in my reviews of all of the Space Hippie shoes how much I love this series, especially how the final product actually look. All of these sneakers look very futuristic to me, and of course I love the story behind it, the sustainability aspect. But I'm kind of disappointed to be honest with what they've done with the Jordan 1 here. This actually looks like a very boring colorway, and you can also see with the resale prices for the sneaker, they're not looking too good right now, and I actually expect this shoe to actually brick, so not worth copying for resale. If some of you out there who like the story behind the shoe, then it's definitely worth copying for personal. August the 14th, another Jordan 1 dropping. This time, the Rage Green Jordan 1s. It will be dropping in the United States. This sneaker actually already released two months early here in Europe, and I did a full review for it. I will leave a link to it up here as well as in the description. Make sure you guys check that out. This colorway is based on a pretty popular colorway of a Nike SB Dunk High. That was the Brute Dunks. And I'm a big fan of the Jordan 1 zooms because of how comfortable they are compared to regular Jordan 1s. However, this one is not one that is worth copying for resale. Maybe it might be a long hold. But if you're looking to quick flip them, you're not looking at much profit here. Very quickly, if you guys haven't already done so, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. As you guys know, I am dropping content all the time, even though I'm on holiday. So give your boy a subscribe. And if you find this content useful, of course, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel, guys. August the 21st, let's talk about a pair of dunks. We have the Nike Dunk Low Samba dropping. And this is also a retro of a previous colorway. The upper is basically gray and blue and you got a red swoosher. Not a huge fan personally of how this colorway looks, so not something I want for personal. But considering how good Dunks have performed this year, you could expect this to sell out. I'm expecting between 200 to 250 in most sizes, which is pretty much double your money. Let's talk about a pair of Yeezy. So on August the 22nd, we have the Yeezy 350 V2 dropping in this Israfil. Israfil, I think is the name uh, of this colorway. The upper is kind of this bluish grayish color and the stripe is done in this bright yellow. Uh, I don't know about this colorway, it doesn't look like a very wearable colorway. And what we've seen so far this year is all of the wearable colorways of Yeezys seem to be having pretty good resale and they're selling out. However, some of these not so wearable colorways like the sage green for example, they're actually sitting in a lot of stores and they have pretty much no resale and I expect that to happen with this Israfil pair doesn't look like a very wearable pair and it's very bright too and it's already pretty much going to be releasing at the end of summer so not really good timing on the release either so this one is an easy pass for me august the 29th let's talk about another pair of yeezys this time the yeezy 700 v3 in this azareth colorway and i know this is a really loud colorway but i actually really like it a lot it almost looks like an azale colorway with the inside painted blue and you guys know how big of a fan I am of the Yeezy 700. I think it's honestly one of the dopest silhouettes of all sneakers out there right now. And this colorway might be hard to pull off, but I definitely think it's possible. And I expect the resale on this to be very good. In fact, I even probably expect it to be higher than maybe even the Alva pair. This is the first really like crazy colorway we've seen on the 700 V3 so far. Pretty much before this, we've just seen a white pair and a black pair. So a pretty quiet month for Yeezys, just these two. We had that 350 V2 and then also this one, the 700 V3 Azareth. Finally, on August the 29th, we're getting one of the most hated shoes so far that I've seen this year. That is the Union Jordan 4s. Now, I'm about to say something that you guys are probably going to hit the dislike button for right now. However, I am really, really messing with this shoe. In fact, I think the best part about this shoe is actually the tongue. And this is coming from a guy who is a huge fan of Jordan 4s. I know a lot of you Jordan 4 purists out there think this shoe is absolutely trash, especially that tongue. But I love this shorter tongue. In fact, I hope that a lot more Jordan 4s in the future get this shorter tongue. I think it will look really, really dope on feet. 
It looks like the tongue is actually folded in, so I'm not really sure if you can actually fold it back out to make the tongue bigger. However, I really like this shorter tongue look. I like the yellowed out sole on this pair, and all of you guys who are hating on this shoe, please do not enter any of the raffles for this so I actually am able to get it for retail. So those are so far all of these sneakers with official release dates that I've talked about in this video. Now I wanna talk about two more sneakers that don't really have release dates, but let's mention them anyways. One is this Nike Dunk Low in the ACG colorway. This is already dropped here in Europe. I took L's, I wasn't able to cop them. They will be releasing probably in August in, in the United States. I think this colorway is absolutely banging. And I do think the resale on this is gonna be very good. We're looking at between 250 to 350 in most sizes. Finally, the last rumored sneaker for the month of August that I wanna talk about in this video is the Jordan 4 Pine Green. Now, you guys have heard me say this in multiple videos. The two sneakers that I've been really bummed about that I wasn't able to cop this year is the Jordan 4 Metallic Green, because that didn't release in Europe, and then also, of course, the Jordan 4 Off-White Sale. However, if I'm able to cop this, and I do think this one should not be that difficult of a cop, then I will be very, very happy. If I cop this, it is going straight to feet. I think this is an absolutely beautiful colorway. The color blocking is very similar to those military blue Jordan 4s. And the timing on this release is just perfect. Going into the fall time, you get those nice pine green colors. So I'm probably more hyped about this shoe than any other shoe releasing in the month of August. So uh, yeah, expect a review on this for sure. And that's pretty much all of the important sneakers, at least the ones I thought were important that are dropping in the month of August. Let me know down in the comments if I missed anything. Also, let me know if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right here. It is at JDKick6. Definitely the easiest place to contact me, so make sure you follow me. And thank you guys so much for messing with the channel, messing with the video. And until next time, guys, peace.